excited to finally share with you what we've been planning since, well, forever really, but since um, we put planning permission in at the beginning of the year, we have been taking part in a massive, massive project at the farm. Um, you can see, you'll probably remember when we moved in, it looked a bit like this. It was amazing. There was so much land, but there were absolutely zero fences and there were random little fallen down fences and bits of garden everywhere. There were also no pathways anywhere. So in the winter, it got really, really wet. You can see this little sort of semi falling down bridge going over a little moat and yeah random bushes and brambles and random bits of farm machinery you name it so safe to say it's had a bit of a glow up and is even more of a horsey haven we have so much stuff. the first job was the tack room and it was goodbye to the snot green cupboards we painted the cupboards grey, changed the handles, which made a massive difference, and also panelled the walls. And when we were done, it looked a bit like this. And this is actually now our rug room because of what I'm about to show you next, which is very exciting. It's day one in the stable renovation world. Um, as you probably will see that used to have our hay barn our single stable a really fallen down aviary but we're really excited because the groundworks has begun today and we are having five stables a wash bay and um, a feed room and also a hay barn so can't wait we've already had this path done which will enable the lorries to get everything in and out for the stables and as you all know, from the pictures on Ted's Instagram, um, Teddy already has his beautiful stable um, made, in, made by a monarch over here, which is just the cutest, most amazing stable I've ever seen. So we are really excited that the rest of the yard is gonna be just as smart as this and yeah i can't wait to show you the finished product teddy is somewhere behind that hedge grazing albie was lying down earlier which is very cute it's very very hot um and the dogs are causing havoc in the garden a little update so in two days time this will be a yard full of stables Super duper excited. You can actually see the size of the buildings now. Um, there's bricks around where each one's going to be. This one's going to be a wash bay for Teddy's pamper sessions. This is our next one neighbour. Um, we've got no idea what she's called, but we call her Daisy because what cow doesn't like being called Daisy? And she's so tame and friendly. We have walls. This is so exciting. All the doors are propped up and it's actually looking like a proper building now. You can see the stables have back windows, which would be really good um, for airflow and for the horses looking out into the fields. There's also these metal grills, which you can see, so they're called talk grills, so the horses can sort of talk to each other between the stables. Um, the guys are working very hard here. It's literally gone up in no time at all this has been done in the morning which is amazing from concrete to this um so yeah it's gonna be very exciting tomorrow because they'll be finished and it's literally taken no time at all um you see Inca is obviously the site manager here so i don't know if you can see behind me but we've been beavering away here um we have the starts bar arena which is really exciting so for context the stables are there we'll do a full stable tour in a minute but the stables are back there we've got five stables and then also teddy's lovely monarch stable and then this is going to be the arena and it is just so exciting it's going to be ready in two and a half weeks so i'm going to document the um making of it and i'm very excited to show you the end result actually a big shout out to these guys because they've been working tirelessly and you can see it is quite muddy around here at the moment, so... Oh, what bird is that? That's a big bird. It's a heron. Bit of nature for you. Yeah, it's quite muddy around here at the moment. Um, there's lots of excess earth, so 
yeah we have been busy busy here the dogs are just checking it out Inca's sniffing everything sniff check not actually brought teddy down here yet but maybe i'll do that tomorrow and show you his reaction so these are our lovely stables and it's literally a childhood dream to have stables like this um on the left is bear then finley my event horses and then obviously the little two and they all get on really well which is lovely and we've actually got five stables a wash bay a hay room and also now lights mm -hmm. which is really cool i'd never realized how exciting the little things like that would be before but obviously the kings of the yard are Teddy and Albie. As you can see, they're sassing around here. I think they're cross because they've just had a bath. And again, exhibit B, kings of the yard. They literally escaped the other day and I found them here. Teddy was eating the hay nets and Albie seemed to be drinking tea. So yeah. So this is the wash bay. It's fully lined with horse mat matting, which makes it really good because all the walls and everything are waterproof and fully splash proof so you can give the horses a good bath and not worry about the wood rotting we've got these really good cross ties which teddy's demonstrating beautifully and it holds them nice and still for when you're bathing and yeah a big drain in the middle with holes in the matting as you can see we're also really lucky to have a dry mucellarium which provides heat and dries teddy after a big bath and he can even chill out in there with friends. Um, occasionally, Finn gives him a little love bite just because he's a bit um, pushes his luck sometimes. But yeah, he also has done a few photo shoots in there already. You can see he's fully climbing in this bucket with Albie and enjoying his dinner, which is from Dodson and Horrell. Yeah, um, he could probably actually get his whole four legs in that bucket. It's so big. Um, you can see the holes in the floor a bit more clearly here too. It looks like a really dodgy emu's egg. So we're just mixing up some paint for our new tap room in the new stable block. That should be really cool. We're going for a similar vibe as the other tap room that I showed you earlier. So you can see this is a bit of a blank canvas. Unfortunately, it's filmed the wrong way. It's filmed for a reel, but you can see it's literally not even sort of cladded with wood so we had to do everything from putting wood on to there's our lovely paint on the walls that you just saw being mixed the dress is half painted we really wanted to make it not feel like a horsey space but feel like a bit of a homely room so we're um, putting up frames horseshoes and in the next clip you're going to see what it looks like now or what it looked like when it was nearly finished at least but yeah this is um our space and and this is what it looks like nearly finished we've got bridle racks plans for the week on the wall saddle racks a dresser painted in blue lots of little horseshoes including teddies of course so yeah we loved this little project and it was lots of fun a short interlude in the interior span to give you a bit of teddy and albie cuteness they're kissing my little young event pony bear who's four here and yeah they get on really well it's very sweet back to the arena Woohoo! yeah kick boards they're like boards up and to a certain height he's testing it out Woohoo! good boy Dogs are on a scent. The arena is looking good. So exciting. It's really sunny, but it has been very rainy. As you can see by all the mud. The dogs, Rusty, hey! Come here, Inca! <laughs> dogs are having a great time. <laughs> So I've been to a wedding, which is why I'm wearing a dress, but we're making some very exciting changes to around here. You can see lots of earth and this is our new arena, or will be. How exciting. I bet Teddy is going to love galloping around here. So hopefully by the end of this week it will be finished and we will have what we've always dreamt of, which is a lovely big arena. 
because I have vent as well so it would be so useful for jumping the horses we wanted it wide enough so we could jump on the short across the short side as well as the long side um so yeah very very exciting and you can see my big boys are over there <laughs> So Teddy's been really poorly at the moment. He's had a bit of a flare up of his um, inflammatory bowel disease, which is like a pony version of Crohn's disease. And it's been really sad. He's had really runny poos and Teddy's showing me his tail, just not looking the best. Um, and he's been just feeling really rubbish, which is what happens unfortunately when he has, because he has this. But he also won't eat when he's feeling like this so I've had to make a syringe of natural yoghurt with the edible powder in. You can see he's eating grass now so he's definitely feeling a lot better but it's just been really worrying and stressful um, seeing him like that because he's normally so greedy like Albie and into everything. So yeah he doesn't like eating so we're giving him this syringe and it's got um, steroids in to hopefully make him feel better. We also had the vet out, but there's not really much more that can be done apart from keep them comfy. So, Teddy's gonna hate this. <laughs> or you. I'm gonna hate this. Oh God. Oh, he's got it all over his nose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Come here. I don't think any of the powder is going to help me. I'm really making me. Swallow it. Swallow it. Albie, you've got it all over your nose. <laughs> Good boy. A little bit more. A little bit more. Good boy, I know you hate it. Good boy. And then we'll get you some treats. Are you swallowing it? You've got yogurt all over your chops and so have you. really untrusting of food because he won't play and I give him medicine. Okay. Oh, he seems to have swallowed it. Swallowed it? Right, I'll go get him some treats. Looking good. We are so nearly there. The sand is going down in the arena and it is really nearly finished. They're just spreading it all out with the diggers, but really close to being done. And then it's going to be an absolute life changer. So it's very exciting. So we are now not going to lie several months down the line. And I realized that I never actually showed you the end, the end arena. <laughs> So I thought I would do a quick update on what it's looking like now because you very much saw it when it was a work in progress. So this is the arena. You can see Albie and Teddy are in it. It is amazing and it has been a total life changer. You can see the stables over there. It's very muddy at the moment because it's winter. So the last time when I did the video, it was summer. But um, yeah, we absolutely love it. It's really good for the big horses. Teddy, I've actually just bought a double cart so that he and Albie can pull it. So it'd be really good for that. It's really good for training Teddy. And Rusty really likes it too. You can see Rusty's little head over there. He really enjoys doing agility in it. We've got all our agility equipment around the edge, which needs to be tidied up to be honest. Jumps, all jump for joy. And this is the arena in its full length glory. Here are the little boys. You lie down practice, you can't do it yet, so you've got to stay over there. Stay over there, Teddy. Get up now! Come on! Come on! Oh no, we're 
you've got a lot to learn. Yay! Well done. Oh, Teddy! <laughs> Not deterred after their little incident. Ready, yeah. steady, go! Go, Rusty, hop up! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Two, tandem! Hop, hop, hop! He actually moves really nicely. So do you, Rusty. Oh, is that the lap of honour? He's quite good. Yeah. Can we go this way? With your blinkers on. This way. Teddy's got a new driving outfit. We're currently doing some long raining in the school. Oh, you see his friends. Hi, Theo. Nice. You're a bit sassy today, actually, aren't you, Teddy? Feeling a bit sassy. The dogs and mum attending on. Oh, good boy. Nice. Can't see your eyes. You see your eyes? They're in there somewhere. Oh. We're gonna get his cart back up and running. His driving adventures. proper kit now for a double scurry team. This is a bit more scurry pony. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go now and promise to do videos much more regularly because we've been really slacking recently. So thank you very much for watching and tune in soon for the next edition of Teddy actually pulling his new cart, which should be quite exciting. Bye!